Hello everyone, this is Mayor Lionel Jordan. Uh, today we're going to be talking to uh, City Attorney Kit Williams and all the things that he does for the uh, City of Fayetteville. And I'll tell you what, we're, we're very, very fortunate to have such a fine City Attorney. There's three branches of the City Government. There's the Legislative Branch, which is City Council. There is the Administrative Branch, which is the Office of the Mayor. And then there's basically the Judicial Branch, which is the City Attorney. He gives us all kinds of legal advice. Kent and I have been together quite a while. We, we started, I started this in Alderman in 2001. He started as the City Attorney in 2001. And uh, today we're just going to have him give you a, a little bit of information about what all that he really, really does for the city and how important his position is. So, Kit, it's good to have you here today. And maybe you'd just like to talk about what the city attorney does. And I appreciate that. But first, I'd like to actually thank you, Lionel, uh, because when you were on uh, a city council back in 2001, you and the rest of the city council selected me to be yes, city attorney. Did. And in fact, I took my oath of office 10 years ago today to be <laughs> city attorney. And so I've really enjoyed uh, doing that. And so I, I thank you for having confidence sure. in me. And I will try not to let you down. You have, you have been a, an absolute wonderful city attorney for us, kid. I want you to know that. And, and, uh, but anyway, so maybe you'd like to tell the people about some of the stuff that you do. Well, I think my first priority as city attorney is to try to keep uh, our city from getting into legal trouble as much as possible. Uh, you know, in the decade before I was city attorney, uh, we had gotten into some legal problems. And in fact, we had been ordered to pay and had to pay several million dollars mm -hmm. in attorney's fees on cases that we lost where we had done something that was illegal or unconstitutional, usually in good faith, but that doesn't mean we don't pay. And so my number one priority is try to not let that happen. And I'm, I'm happy that in the 10 years I've been city attorney, we haven't had that happen. That's right. And uh, so I try to take a very conservative and careful approach uh, to what the city does, and I will warn the city council or warn the mayors mm -hmm. Uh, if I feel like we are getting into dangerous territory. And even if we are doing something new, for example, the Streamside Ordinance, Protection Ordinance, that hasn't been done in the state, I've worked with our staff and with the council and, and your office to try to make sure that this is, uh, even though it's pretty new law, that it's still legal and yes. constitutional so that the citizens won't be ending up paying millions of dollars in attorney's fees again. So maybe you'd like to, I know that when we decide to draft an ordinance, when we were aldermen, or even as a mayor wants to draft an ordinance in my staff, they were, they were almost always clear through your office to make sure that the language is correct and that you draw, most of the time you'll draw up that ordinance, you'll tell us pretty much, we'll tell you what we want to do, and you will draw that up accordingly to what the laws will allow. That... It's certainly a cooperative effort. Mm -hmm. You basically tell me what you want to do and I will draft up some proposals and, and show them back to you and the staff and say, is this what you want? Mm -hmm. Let, take uh, input back from you in case I didn't get it just right the first time and work on it for a while before we ever submit it to the city council. So we try to have a pretty good ordinance when we go to the city council with it and ask for their approval. I know that in some of the uh, city council meetings when I was an alderman and now that I'm a mayor, a lot of times an alderman or, or someone will want to bring forward an amendment to an, an ordinance that we're looking at that night. And a lot of times we'll be drawing, you'll be writing that all out and getting that just right. And that's just a tremendous help. And, and uh, uh, so maybe you'd like to talk about some of the procedures like when a city council meeting is being run, some of the things that you do to keep us on track and, and like amendments that well, are brought you're up. the chairman of the city council <laughs> as, as a mayor. That's true. And so you get to keep them in order, but then I am the parliamentarian. That's so right. if there's a question about the rules or how you go about doing something, then that's my responsibility. And I try to assist both you and the city council to get to where you're trying to go. And if that means making up a new amendment to an ordinance, right. I will do that. Now, there have been a few times when it's been a complicated sort of amendment, and I've asked the city council, let's wait, That's let's right. not try to pass it tonight, let me work on it, and it, let's look at it to the next meeting after I've had a chance to draft it, because oftentimes our ordinances are not something you can just make on the fly if it's a big right. change. Right. That's right. So I, and I do appreciate, and I think every time I've asked for that, I think the city council and, yes. and you have agreed to give me enough time to draft up something that I'm a little bit more sure of uh, that's going to be legal and constitutional and do what the city council wants it to do. 
Right. Now, if, if a citizen was to call and, and would like to know uh, something that is uh, either legal or not legal, they call your office, correct? They can, if it's having to do with a city ordinance right. uh, or the way the uh, city policy or how the city is operating, right. I certainly am, am happy to talk to citizens and advise them and try to read the ordinance for them or find the code section in our Fayetteville code that might apply to their, their situation. Of course, I cannot represent individual citizens. Right. I represent only the city as a whole, right. as well as the city council and the mayor and, and your staff, but I do not or cannot represent individual citizens with their private uh, legal needs. Uh, however, if it's something to do with the city and how to work within the city, if there's a development issue or some other issue that they need to talk to me about, I'm, I'm always happy to talk to them and give them my advice about you know, what ordinance do they need to look at, what person they need to go to and talk to, or what procedure they need to follow in order to get what they need to accomplish their goal. And Kit, you know, like when there's state legislation going on, I know that a lot of times you keep up with a lot of the bills that are going through. We, we, have, we have to do that as you're aware That's of, right. We have to watch the bills because occasionally a bill will come through that will not be in Fayetteville's interest. There have been bills in, in previous uh, legislate, uh, legislative sessions that if passed could have cost us potentially millions of dollars and so we try to watch out for those bills. I know That's your right. office does too. Lindsley uh, Smith, mm, yes. uh, she, as a former legislature, she knows how to do that. And, and so we're all kind of trying to watch for bills that might have little hidden things in there that might not be the best for us. Uh, right. Not that the legislature is trying to do anything that would be damaging to Fayetteville. Well, sometimes they might not understand exactly all of the effects that their bill might have. I know another thing that that you do that uh, that I'm I'm very appreciative of. I know uh, that I go to you for for counsel and and uh, on certain issues about what's what could what could get us in trouble, what you know, how to stay out of trouble. And I, and I, I I certainly want to thank you for doing that. I know that you you've been a great advisor for me. And uh, well, I certainly appreciate uh, any time that you want to talk to me about about uh, some legal or constitutional matter. Uh, you know, that's really my job too. Uh, I don't work specifically for you, That's I right. work for the taxpayers, That's but on right. the other hand, you're the chief executive officer of the city, and, and you have the most responsible position, so I'm always happy to speak with you and give you my advice about whether or not something uh, is legal or how about go, how to go about it. Right. How can you accomplish this goal that you're looking to, to accomplish That's in right. the best way possible? That's right. Now, Kit, when you come into your office every day, would you maybe you'd like to tell the people just what a day in the, the city attorney's office is like, I mean. Well, days often vary, but uh, for example, let's just look at today. Uh, this is a city council meeting uh, day, so I come in, I often check my emails. There's some questions I've gotten uh, from citizens about uh, the streamside protection ordinance. Mm -hmm. So I've tried to respond to them and tell them uh, what uh, to answer their issues. Uh, of course, I look at uh, whatever mail comes in. I try to make sure we haven't been sued by anybody. <laughs> Uh, we've got at least we yeah. got a couple cases uh, going in court, and sometimes we're notified uh, either by email or regular mail about uh, events happening there. Uh, I often will meet with staff uh, and, and with with your staff, uh, and if they have issues that come up, uh, there I'm I'm preparing right now to go to the university later this week and meet with uh, some of their uh, leadership and our police chief and their university police about some sort of possible mutual aid agreement. So mm -hmm. I've been reviewing the proposal that the university has sent us, a wonderful 11 page contract, and I've looked at the statutes involved in that and I have some questions and critiques on that and I'm gonna get with uh, Chief Tabor and his crew later on, even before we go to the university on Thursday, mm -hmm. and try to make sure that this is what he wants and does he understand what I believe the legal ramifications of this agreement would be. So it's, uh, there's always something new coming in. You, right. you never know. And uh, I have an, an open door policy mm -hmm. because when a staff has an issue, I don't want them to wait. I want them to come to me beforehand because it's much easier to solve a problem and create a, or, or stop a problem from getting big if they tell me about it as early as possible. Because sometimes you can do minor things at the start to keep it from being a problem. Mm -hmm. And if you wait, 
I mean, how then it can uh, explode on you and then then you're into potentially litigation or something, which is one of my goals is try to avoid litigation That's if we right. can. And, uh, well, uh, it's, it's been wonderful having you here today. Is there anything that you'd like to add just as a, uh, any kind of final well, suggestions I, on, on, on? Well, I'll on, just say this, that uh, the, uh, this job has really been, uh, I wasn't sure when I first was applying for this job. I, I was happy in private practice. I represent a lot of people and thought I was helping people. And I wasn't sure I'd get the same job satisfaction here. But I have, and I can tell you this has been a very wonderful job for me, working for my hometown, uh, working with you and, and the other members of, of uh, the, the elected officials and the city staff. And we have a fine city staff, very dedicated people. And so it's been an honor and a privilege to work uh, with you and with the staff and our, and our city councils. I think that we've accomplished a lot. I think that uh, these dedicated public servants have done everything they can to make Fayetteville a better place to live, and I'm proud to be a part of that, Mayor. Well, thank you, Kit, very much. Is there a contact number if somebody needs to contact your office that they can call? Oh, yes, it's 575-8313. Of course, uh, Access Fayetteville uh, has, that's our website, and I'm, I'm on that also, and so that provides further contact information with email and stuff. Well, Kit, I really appreciate you being here today. It's, it's been a pleasure, Mayor. As you can see, we're in, in fine legal hands with our city attorney. Uh, Kit does a great job. He is, he's, uh, he's a fine attorney and a, and a good counselor and really a good friend, so... Um, he's not only a friend to me, but he's a friend to all the citizens of Federal and the city council, and uh, he does a great job. So it's been great being here today. It's been great interviewing you today, Kit. So until I see you all again, you have a great day, and I'll see you real soon.